Hey, it's me, Jean Farrell, back with another short tutorial, or better to say announcement, of my cool tool for Cinema 4D. So Cinema 4D provides us with a bunch of pretty cool spline primitives, uh, which with which we can do a lot of stuff, but I am still missing one specific shape. It's the arc shape. We have an arc shape inside, but this uh, allows us just to build an arc. But I want to create a kind of tunnel, you know, when you're creating windows with a with a kind of arc on top. So this is very uncomfortable. We first have to create a, a rectangle spline, then we made it editable, and then we have to um, yeah camfer this uh, until we get this uh, kind of arc shape, but this is not a procedural way anymore. So, uh, so that's the reason why I created this uh, spline generator thing. So right away here in Cinema 4D, to install this thing, simply unpack this. It's a, a yeah a zip file. You can unpack it, and then you copy the complete folder into your app data roaming maxon folder into the library folder where the scripts are here into the script folder simply copy it inside this folder and you are done and then you can call it here and customize your palettes and search for arc and here is the script it's called arc i already did that here and put it into my uh, layout so i call the script and instantly it creates a kind of tunnel of bold arc whatever and um, yeah, we can determine the width and the height. And the cool thing is, so no matter what uh, we, uh, no matter what uh, subdivision we are choosing here, so it always keeps the same height we um, typed in. So this is cool mathematics inside. Yeah, <laughs> simple mathematics here. Yeah. Um, also, we can decide, determine if it is closed or not. So, and also we can put this into a, yeah, an, any um, generator, maybe in this um, extrusion chain, extrude object. And we also can, yeah, open it. So now we can have a kind of procedural way to do this. This is pretty cool stuff. So, yeah. If you want to uh, determine uh, these um, distribution distribution of the points, so this is at the moment not possible. Uh, my skills are not so good. So I'll simply make it editable, and then you have access here to this distribution uh, thing here, as you can see. But this is no longer procedural now. So okay, I hope you have fun. Download from my website. It's for free. And yeah, just a little bit of practice my uh, to practice my coding skills. And yeah, hope you have fun. Like me, subscribe me, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>